Hi, I'm Dave. I'm the, the lead bass player. and I'm Jude, and I'm, I was the lead songwriter, mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We started at, uh, at Miami University. I mean, we had humble beginnings, of course, like most bands, you know, probably just a couple of bars, but within, you know, two or three months, we were selling out Aussie's Balcony. And, right. Um, uh, um, you, you could know, almost feel it in the, in the, at the gigs that people were just like, give us more. Are we, uh, are we have a meeting? Huh? Gentlemen, the comeback. I know you, you're working on lining up some tour dates, but what kind of cash flow situation? Yeah, zero cash flow. Oh, I don't understand what that means. Like, you guys don't make any money. How is that possible? How did I buy this? No one, no one's buying your records. Um, are they just out of them? Do they need more? I, I, well... Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Uh, I've got some of our my band's uh, CDs to restock you guys with. Cause, okay. Uh, are these a donation or...? No, no. Uh, so my manager's told me that you um, there haven't been uh, any sales lately, so I'm, I'm assuming you guys are out, and I just wanted to make sure you had plenty on hand. To, your, uh, your, your manager has not lied to you. Roscoe. Roscoe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, he brought a lot to the band. Drugs. Yeah. Pretty much drugs. But we didn't realize that the distinct things he was adding was actually taking of our equipment. You know I love your music. You guys are like my favorite clients. But it's not good. It's a little lean right now, I'm afraid. My job is to create. And that is awesome. And your job is to enable this kind of genius to happen. This doesn't just happen. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, those, were, those were just the crazy days, right? I mean, where it was nonstop everywhere we went. It was B-mania, uh, they were calling it. There's this one guy I've known for a long time. Uh, Sean and uh, he was he was a little uh, a little hard to rein in sometimes with his enthusiasm for our the screaming um, at the shows yeah I mean sometimes you'd think it was the crowd screaming but in reality it was just Sean you know we didn't we didn't want to be really presumptive and say we were going to be the A's so we decided it. I mean, we knew we were at the top of, the, we're, if, if not right then, soon to be at the top of the list, but let's, yeah, let's show a little false modesty at right. least. And yeah. so we're, yeah, the B's. So we're just, yeah, just one step right. from the A's. But then we come in and hit them with the B's. There's this whole new sort of digital video realm that we've heard about that we were, that we're like, we feel like yeah. it's time for us to jump into that. I think we may put to, up an uh, AOL page. We're, we're gonna, we got the video in the works, right? Yeah, no, we got the best, really, like, yeah. top the line uh, I college. I like it, I like what I'm hearing. Co students. Co college? Oh. I mean, but still, like. Really good college Like students, local right? college, like CCM students? I contacted CCM, but um, they, no, we got DAP. What the hell? What the hell's DAP? DAP? I, DAP? Yeah, is that the yeah? No, thing? I think the the D's for DeVry. You put on fifteen on consignment in two thousand and one, and we still have fifteen of those, and then we also have five each used. So people have actually been bringing them back. It, it basically, yeah, basically there were, there were other bands that claimed to have the same name before we did. Uh, there was really no concrete evidence of that. Right, then came Leisure. We chose that name because the AOL page was available. Oh, uh, yeah, they're just old from something. I don't know, he won't buy us Legos, so we just, they're not very good. You know, most bands have like their, like a prayer, a huddle. We had our bees handshake. handshake. Yeah. yeah. So. It was, very, it was a very complicated series of yeah, it uh, was. It was, it was high fives and fist bumps. And high, highly secret. I mean, none of the fans could really get it down because it went a little like, yeah, the thing with the two, two fingers. 
right? No. With that, uh, you know, level of hard work, though, I mean, I think we, we sit here as an example. I mean, look, we've got a, a documentary film crew here right. with us. I mean, this is... This is what you can reach with many, many, many milliseconds of, yeah. of practice. It's possible. I mean, it's not going to be as easy as it is for us. Yeah, my manager told me to just bring these, that you would need them to, to sell. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. It's never too late for a new dream. <laughs>